Welcome to the demo highlighting the integration between Urban Code and the Engineering Lifecycle Management Solution, showing how organizations can manage the value stream and orchestrate the automated release of a software change. To kick off the demo, JK Automotive, a fictional auto manufacturing company, builds three vehicle models with varied trim packages and features. In model year one, one of the features being offered is a standard cruise control option. And to get this feature to market meeting consumer demand, JK Automotive wants to know where the cruise control requirement is in the pipeline. But before jumping right into showing software capabilities, it is important to understand the relationships between the multiple car components being developed by JK Automotive. During this demo, focus will be placed on tracking and deploying the cruise control feature through the pipeline. The Engineering Lifecycle Management Solution, or ELM, offers three main components, engineering workflow management, engineering test management, and engineering requirements management. The IBM Cloud DevOps offering currently consists of two Urban Code solutions, Urban Code Deploy and Urban Code Velocity. Independently, both the ELM and Urban Code solutions provide valuable capabilities to the end user. When integrated, they offer an increased level of automation and synchronization in understanding where requirements or the business value is in the pipeline. Starting off in the Rich Client Interface for Engineering Workflow Management, or EWM, the team has configured an out-of-the-box integration with Urban Code Deploy. Activating this integration as a post-build deploy step in the EWM build definition allows artifacts automatically built from the continuous integration process to be immediately imported into the Urban Code Deployment Automation Solution. The end result is a seamless automated process of commit, build, deploy, which may include automated testing en route to production. To set up this integration, the connection to Urban Code Deploy is configured and verified within EWM. Next, the component to be imported and an identifier, in this case the build ID, are specified. And optionally, the application to be deployed the environment where the deployment should occur, and the deployment process can be set to automatically deploy the change upon successful completion of the automated build. Within EWM and as part of the project area setup, the workflow for each work item type has been configured by the project admin mapping actions to the resulting states, where every action taken against a work item changes the state of that work item. It is also important to note that work items often have relationships with other work items. For this demo, the software updates to implement the cruise control log speedometer data for trip work item have been implemented in the associated change set. In addition, the feature work item is a child of the parent capability work item log speed during usage of BCC system, and that capability work item is a child of the parent solution EPIC work item, provide basic cruise control system to assist driver control. Those familiar with the safe requirements model will understand the relationship and purpose of each. Having shared details of the feature work item contained in EWM, let's now look at Urban Code Velocity and particularly the JK Automotive value stream. Urban Code Velocity helps organizations visualize value as feature work items move across the pipeline from idea to the end user. This is accomplished by configuring a plugin to enable the integration. Once in place, Urban Code Velocity retrieves work item data and visualizes that data in a meaningful way, making it actionable. Not only does Urban Code Velocity value stream show where a work item is in the pipeline, it also provides insight on potential bottlenecks which may be slowing the delivery of that value to the end user, along with displaying key metrics. To properly visualize the retrieved feature work item data, a workflow JSON file has been configured to present the same phases and pipeline stages as configured in the EWM feature workflow. The ability to display custom and out-of-the-box metrics helps teams observe trends and key measures of summarized data for a quick view providing insight for the app dev manager or team lead. Toggling between work item priority and work item type provides the user with a different view of the feature work items in the pipeline. Opening the legend provides guidance on how users should interpret and understand the data. Applying the legend's stage wait time guidance to the circles at each stage, the team can see which stages are advancing at different speeds, slow, medium, and fast. Beneath each stage, 
is a calculated value showing work item in a particular stage and the average time work items spend in that particular stage. Reviewing individual work items, a red circle indicates that a particular work item has exceeded the average time for that stage and may need additional attention. Teams can also configure work in progress limits for each stage. In the analyzing stage, the work in progress limit has been set to 10 work items, but the number of work items at this stage is currently 11. Perhaps too many work items have been pushed into this stage exceeding the team's cognitive capacity, resulting in another potential bottleneck in the pipeline, a bottleneck which is easy to fix. Urban Code Velocity also provides a patented DevOps query language where work item data can be filtered depending on the query commands submitted in the value stream view. The swim lane view makes it extremely easy for team leads to understand workload distribution. Similar to the value stream view, this view offers the ability to execute DevOps queries and observe the value stream metrics, but shows work item distribution across the team and by stage. Selecting a work item allows teams to view the complete history of that particular work item to learn how long it stayed in each of the value stream stages. The Urban Code Velocity Pipeline view provides visibility into which versions of the application or components have been deployed to each of the environments making up the pipeline. The first column shows all the applications or components the JK Automotive team is responsible for. The input column shows the latest versions from development. The environment columns indicate which version is currently deployed to that environment. To begin release of the cruise control feature, the team deploys the build artifact containing the new cruise control code to dev. The team selects which component and version of that component should be included in the deployment. From the pipeline view, the team can drill into the release plan in action and observe the in-flight deployment process steps. In this example, the cruise control component is first deployed. Next is a check for which environment is the deployment target. This is done as conditional logic has been added to the deployment process to execute different types of tests and update work items if the deployment is successful and the test passed. If it's the dev environment, the work item is updated to a deploying state. If it is in QA, no work item action is taken. And if it's prod, the work item is updated to the releasing state. Inclusion of work item updates as part of the process means work item status does not need to be addressed manually and this ensures that the value stream display has the latest information without delay. Returning to Urban Code Velocity's value stream view, a synchronization task is automatically triggered and because of the status change to the work item, it is advanced to the next stage. With a keen eye, the team also notices that the work item count in the deploying stage has also increased from 1 to 2. Let's continue with advancing the cruise control feature through the pipeline and deploy to QA following the same process to initiate deploy, selecting the components and the component versions. As expected, the deployment succeeds and the pipeline view now shows build 1143 deployed to QA. With the code changes presenting an acceptable level of quality, it is deployed to prod. Same as before, the component and the component version is selected. Navigating to the automated deployment process execution, the new version is deployed and the work item is updated to releasing. Returning to the value stream view, the work item advances to the releasing stage. From here, the team may inform the stakeholder of this deployment or the release plan could include a task to automatically notify stakeholders that the feature is now live. Working directly in EWM, or by opening the work item from the Urban Code Velocity Value Stream view, the stakeholder updates the work item, moving it to the accepted stage in the done phase. And as the work items have been moving through the pipeline, Urban Code Velocity has been harvesting and compiling data to show how teams are advancing with DevOps capabilities. For example, the team can see that the lead time and the cycle times have changed, and that the deploy frequency metric shows an improvement of 3.6 deployments per day. In addition, the releasing stage duration is now showing a measure value and as teams continue to leverage urban code velocity in their day-to-day -day activities, the amount of data being collected will show extremely accurate trends and help to continually improve the flow of ideas to the end user. Thanks for watching.